What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob. We got the big dog behind the camera and this is Big Dog Eats. So thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all support. So as you may have already seen the thumbnail, today's episode is another wild game edition, which means only one thing. We got Blake back on the channel. Get over here, brother. What's up, guys? Happy to have you back. So give him the rundown. What are we having? Man, it is cold outside, and we're going to make one of my favorite things, a big pot of chili. Ooh, it's chili outside, so we got to put some chili on the inside of our belly. Hey, big dog, you know what I just thought of? What's that? Blake is actually our first return guest on our show. I was thinking the exact same thing, and I got to say... I'm so happy to have you back, man. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Thanks for having me. Oh, we might no have problem. to make you a contributor to the channel, man. <laughs> he's, well, he's not a contributor. He's our wild game expert. <laughs> yep, yep. He's the B-D-E-W-G-E. He is. So. Now, just to let you guys know, even though this is a deer chili recipe, this video is really focused more on the recipe than the deer because you can actually use any type of meat that you want in this recipe. So tell us a little bit about the recipe that you got here. Yeah, so this chili recipe I actually got from my grandmother. Uh, she makes the best chili I've ever had, so whenever I knew I was coming on the channel, I had to reach out to her and get the recipe for her. <laughs> I'm glad you did, man. I can't wait to try this stuff, man. So what are we, uh, as far as ingredients, what are we going to be working with here? You got tomato juice, uh, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, you got pinto beans, chili beans, and an onion. Um, we got our chili uh, seasoning and cayenne pepper, and it wouldn't be chili without some Fritos and sour cream. Oh, you're dang right. That's literally <laughs> what makes chili chili. <laughs> I got to say, I'm intrigued by the tomato juice. Yep. I usually use water in my recipe, so to see this tomato juice is kind of unique. I can't wait to see how it tastes. Yeah. Mamma said to use it, so that's what we're using. All right, <laughs> nice. Nice. And as... You know chili is a very easy recipe to make. We're gonna basically do it as a one pot recipe. So what we're gonna do to get everything started, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and chop up this onion. We're gonna cook up the beef. Once we do that, we'll be back to put everything together and get it cooked up. All right, let's get it, boys. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Now, I did say this was a one pot recipe, but it's actually like a one and a half pot recipe. I've got a quick Big Dog Eats pro tip for you. When you're cooking onions, use an electric skillet. It works amazingly well, and you'll love the result. All right, we've got the beef and the onions cooked. So it's time to put this chili together. So what do you think? Yeah, so we can go ahead and start adding everything to it. The one thing I do like about the chili recipe, uh, it's a good introductory for people that have maybe never had deer meat before. Uh, it's That's a good point. Yeah, so a lot of the ingredients that we add to it is gonna cover <laughs> up what little bit of gaminess uh, there may be in there. So anybody that's never tried deer meat, uh, before maybe a little nervous about it. Mm. This is going to be a good dish uh, to start out nice. on. Nice. Of course, you don't have to use deer meat. If you just want to use this uh, recipe and throw some ground beef in there, it works too. So mm -hmm. just changing one ingredient. And as we're adding all this stuff to the pot, don't worry. We're going to actually put uh, all the ingredients in the description so you know exactly how much to use in this. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and get everything added to the pot. Let's do it. And one other thing, if you're not a huge chili fan, you can swap two simple ingredients and make taco soup with the exact same thing. Instead of using uh, chili seasoning, use taco seasoning, add a can of corn, boom, you have taco soup and, instead. And taco soup is yeah. amazing too. We, had, we may need to do a taco soup video yeah, as well. Actually, we may actually do that. All right, all right.
secret weapon, Mamma said, to use a half a bottle of tomato juice. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we have everything cooked up. We are ready to eat this and chow down. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It definitely smells different than the chili we normally make. You can, you can smell that tomato yeah, juice in there. Yeah, it definitely, definitely does. I was very uh, cautious when you talked about that, but I, you know what? Let's see what Grandma, uh, let's see what Grandma has to say about uh, it's this. It's Mamma, Mamma, sir. We are in the South. <laughs> Mamma. That is true. We're eating deer chili. It's Mamma. All right? I got you. That is true. Well, let's go ahead and try this stuff out. You want to? Yeah, let's go. All right. So obviously, you always have to get the Fritos out first. So this is how to make a proper bowl of chili. And no, by the way, for the audience wondering, Tortilla chips crushed up do not do the same thing. No, they don't. Fritos are harder than yes. a tortilla chip, and the tortilla chips will be soggy. Yeah. So let's let's see the technique here. So the technique is you throw a bunch of chips in the bottom of the bowl. All right, and then obviously you want to get a nice little stir. A little stir, a little whip in the pot, as oh, they would say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna just load this baby up. Load it. Load it up. Load it up. There we go. And then you finish it off with some cheddar cheese. Now that's a cheddar Colby mix, right? It's a, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is actually. Okay, okay. It was on sale at the grocery store and it looks really cool, so I figured, what the heck, let's try it out. Okay, well let's all make our bowls. All right, we'll yeah, we're gonna all bowls. make our bowls, then we'll chow down. All right, let's so go ahead and Blake, get yours going, buddy. Let's go. Guys, we were just gonna make our own bowls off camera, but this guy puts the Fritos on top. I am a little, Different than the big dog, I like my Fritos crunchy, so they go straight on top. Okay. No soggy Fritos in the chili, man. <laughs> what about the cheese? We're going to not do cheese, we're going to do sour cream and stuff. Ah, uh, you don't do cheese in your chili? The key is to do both. The yes, key. exactly. Yes. I am going to do both. That's just my way. Okay, hey man, you know, to hey, each it's, his own. it's my way or the highway, big dog. I <laughs> know, yeah, absolutely All right, not. Let's make these chills, make these bowls. All right. All right, I am ready to chow this down. I'm so excited to try this. And you've got yours ready, so let's go ahead and just try it together. Let's go. At the same time. It smells amazing. Mm. That's good stuff. Wow. Okay. First impression of deer chili, big dog. Well. First impression is if you didn't, if you said this was deer chili, if you just made this and said this is regular chili, you really wouldn't tell much of a difference. That's the first thing. Hmm. But one thing I noticed, because we make chili a lot here in this kitchen, I think I'm gonna start using tomato juice. <laughs> yeah. You can taste the definite flavor of the broth is just so much more powerful and so amazing. The cayenne has that nice little kick at the back end. And it's just amazing. Hold on, let me try one more bite. Blake, what's your, uh, wh wh how, how would you describe it? Exactly, just like Mamaw's mm. recipe, man. I've been eating this for years. Solid, it oh. doesn't get any better. Oh man, you know if it's coming from Mamaw. Now I know Grandma's a big BDE fan, so I just want to say thank you, Grandma, for the recipe. It is amazing. It's Mamaw. Mamaw. It's Mamaw. Mamaw Helen, to be exact. We're, not, we're all gonna say hi to Mamaw Helen. Shout out Mamaw, Mamaw, thank you for the amazing recipe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Now can I try? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, now it's my turn, man. Let's go. Let's see if your mamma knows what she's doing. <laughs> I'll tell you, it smells, it smells good. So come in and take, take a look at my little spread here. We got the Fritos on the bottom like a real man eats his chili. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the chili, the cheese, and then of course the sour cream. You do have to do a dollop daisy. Now I'm gonna do a little mixy here, a little mixy mixy. I don't wanna keep y'all waiting too long. Give us a nice little bite here. Oh no, hold on, that's not a good one. All right. You could definitely smell the tomato juice in there. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold on, but I gotta get. I gotta go back in. You eat some more. Need a second judgment. Yeah. I think it mm. tastes amazing. Mm. It's very. It's good. That's good. That's good stuff. So it's full. It's like full of flavor. You know what I mean? In that, instead of water having that tomato juice, it was very full. Very rich. And the deer, if I didn't know it was there, I, I if I didn't, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know it was there. But I will say, I do kind of get more of like an umami type flavor from it. Kind of. I know it might just be in my head because I know the deer's in there. But very good stuff, man. Good stuff. You know, this might actually qualify as a better than great recipe, actually. It may, but here's the thing. People can't go out to the store and get this and make better than great themselves. <laughs> Unless you have a connection, like a sharpshooter like this guy right here. You can't <laughs> get right. your hands on his deer, too. He's a master hunter. That's why he is our wild game expert on the channel. You're darn right. And hey, this bite's for you, brother. Yeah, They're not selling this at the mm. store, guys. I can promise you that. Now, as great as that chili was, unfortunately... Because it has all this cayenne pepper in it, Turbo is not going to be able to partake tonight. Sorry, buddy. But you know what he can partake in? One single Frito. Nah, eh, what the heck? Let's give him a Frito. Give him a Frito, man. All right, Turbo. Hey, Turbo, you're getting a Frito. Here, you want a Frito, Turbo? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Get it. Uh, uh, uh. He's, not, he's not seeing it. He's not seeing it. There's a Frito. Here, take a second one, buddy. What the heck? All right, so you survived your second guest appearance in the Big Dog Eats Kitchen. What'd you think? Man, this is good stuff. Making chili in the wintertime, it's one of my favorite dishes. And hanging out with the Big Dog is fun hanging too, right? The Big Dog, yes sir. Absolutely. Well, listen, we have a, a whole big pot of chili. We've got a bunch of people that want to try this stuff. So let's go pretty much wrap it up hey, here, hold on, guys. hold on. Chill. We got chili to eat, Big oh Dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, with all that being said, we're going to go and get out of here and bolt. See ya! Woo!